Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I'm here to review this experiment. And this experiment has been going on for over a year now. And it's an experiment that involves watering Diefenbachias with different types of water. And as you can see here, a plant has gone missing, and that was the coffee watered plant and that is because coffee appears to build up a residue in the plant and the water basin below and that eventually gets so toxic that it kills the plant. So we're going to be starting with the surviving plants and the worst growth is Tucson water. So this is what Tucson water is looking like at my home. So. The back here typically has leaves the size of your hand and very heavily patterned leaves. And you can see that this is pretty much unrecognizable as a diaphragm back here. So this one is doing a little bit better and this one is being watered with diet lemonade. So we've got much better growth on this plant and you can see the leaves a little bit larger but we don't have any patterning and this one is getting microwaved water from a microwave oven and this one here is starting to get some patterning in the leaves you can see the leaves are a little bit larger and this one is getting aged water from 2011 and this is water that I bottled when Fukushima went off. So this one is looking much better. And you can see that we've now got the patterning back, like the daikon back here has, but the leaves are miniature. So we're still in retarded growth with this plant. And this plant is getting Wi-Fi treated water. So I have a bottle of water sitting next to a Wi-Fi router and this is how the plant grows when it's watered with it. So this is our next improved plant and this plant is getting Brita water filtered. So this is water out of the water pitcher. So it appears that the water pitcher does actually improve the quality of water for the Dicombachia. So this is our next plant. So they're starting to get quite tall. So they look back down the row. You can see that they started out quite small and they progressively get taller as you come along the row. And the tallest one is at the other end. So let's see what this one is getting. So this is reverse osmosis water UV treated. So this is our next plant. It's looking much better. Nice patterned leaves. Still somewhat miniature leaves. And it's a nice tall plant. And this one is getting AMR, AMI water. So that is transmitting utility meter water. So this is water I put next to a Nitron 100G transmitting utility meter. And it actually appears to change the water in a way that the plant reacts favorably. So this is our next plant. So they're getting quite tall now. You see the leaves are actually much larger, starting to get something like what the diaphragm back here is supposed to grow like. And this one, which to my surprise was diet cola. So our next plant is this one. And you can see it's putting up a new leaf. And you can see we've got nice pattern leaves. And one of the things I want to point out to you is that the, the growth rate on these plants has changed. And I've yet to ascertain exactly why that is. A cell phone tower transmitter has been removed in my neighborhood after I complained about it. And we've just gone through lightning season, so when you have lightning in the atmosphere, the plants seem to respond favorably to it. So this may be a reaction 
to lightning exposure and the electromagnetic radiation that comes off the storms. So we're going to have to watch this for a little while longer and see whether we can figure out which one it is. So this is steam distilled water. So the plant appears to love steam distilled water. But the outright winner is this one. So this plant is showing growth that is the most comparable to the diphon back here. It has very, very large leaves and has all the patterning. And it's also probably one of the best plants in my home right now. And this one is getting tea. So it's hot tea that has cooled and it's an organic tea bag and I use a variety of different organic tea bags to water this plant. Natural type of tea doesn't seem to be too critical. I want to show you some of the plants that I have in process that I added onto this experiment and they're in the process of changing their growth. So we're going to start with this one. So this one has patterning in its leaves, a little bit smaller than the normal Dyphenbachia leaves. And this one's getting boiled water. This one here is getting cold, weak tea bag water. And as you can see, it actually died. So this is its replacement that was put in place in March. And it's actually showing quite good growth right now. And this is the most recent one, so I had a shungite watered plant and that died back in October. Oh, I should say it started in October and it died in August and was replaced in August. And this is how the plant looks so it's yet to deform. So that's where we're up to with the water experiments. And we're going to leave it running for a while longer. And when I get more information, I'll do another video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.